add integers. So I'd like to actually create a compare and contrast of two different situations in which we will experience adding integers. In some cases, we will have integers with the same signs. And then we'll have situations in which they are different signs. All right. So the sum is positive if both integers are positive. So let's look at an example. If I have 7 plus 4, well, notice how both of those are positive, and so the answer is positive. I like to clearly indicate my answer. So what happens if the sum is negative? That means that both of the integers are negative. So again, the sum is negative if both integers are negative. So an example here would be negative 7 plus negative 4. And so that's negative 11. OK, a couple things to note is notice how 7 and negative 7 are opposites. And then the 4 and the negative 4 are op opposites. So the outcome, 11 and negative 11, are opposites as well. You can also think, of about, think about this in terms of counters, which we did the other day. So if I have seven negative counters, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and I add four more negatives, negative counters, then how many total negative counters do I have? A larger set of negative counters. All right, so what happens if there are different signs? The sum is positive if the positive integer's absolute value is greater. So let's look at an example. If I have a 9 plus a negative 4, if I took the absolute value of 9, that would be 9. If I took the absolute value of negative 4, that would be 4. But the larger absolute value in this case is 9. Because it's positive in front, my answer is going to be positive. And so therefore, I have to find the difference of these two, which is 9 and 4, gives you 5, and it's going to be positive because the larger number is positive. But let's take a look at an example visually on the number line. So because I'm starting with 9 this time, I'm not going to start at 0, but rather I'm going to start with 9 and see what happens if I go in both directions here. So if I start at 9, what do we know about negative numbers? They are going in the left direction. So that means I'm going to have to go minus 4 units in the left direction. So minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. And look where that lands me, at positive 5. So the sum is negative if the negative integer's absolute value is greater. So that means if I take the absolute value of two numbers and it happens to be the one that's negative, then the answer is going to be negative. So let's look at an example. This time I have negative 9 plus 4. Well, see how the negative 9 is the larger absolute value number? That means that the difference between these two, which is 5, is going to be negative. Again, I can illustrate this with counters. So if I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
six, seven, eight, nine negative counters, and four positive counters, one, two, three, four. Notice how I'm lining them up with the negatives, because I know I have zero pairs here. And look what's left over, one, two, three, four, five counters, that they're all negative. 